My name is Jim Thomas and welcome to the Fitness Management Update. Our topic today is overvaluing your gym when it's time to sell. Now, here's the first thing. It's important we get out there because, you know, when, when you're a, a, an owner of a gym and you want to sell, I mean, you want to sell, right? And I see from, you know, our experience that probably half the gyms that are listed never sell. And the reason they don't is they're overpriced from the beginning and no one's going to buy something that's overpriced and overvalued. Okay. And you know, what happens on some of this, you know, as gym owners, they, they start to consider their gym special. And, but here's what I mean by this. Okay. Is, you know, they put in, you know, all this, this blood, sweat, and tears, you know, they put their heart into it, their soul into it, their money into it, you know, fixing this up and growing it. And no buyer is going to pay based on your blood, sweat, and tears. There's no value in that for your incoming buyer. That incoming buyer, that investor, you know, they're buying cash flow. And again, too often owners, they'll attach this value to their blood, sweat, and tears. You know, I think we, we've got some now that have, uh, you know, uh, you know, they're, I think they're, they're priced at a, you know, seven or eight times EBITDA, you know, with very low, you know, margins. And, you know, statistically, you know, those things will never sell. And you want to make sure these things are appropriately priced. And if you feel like you need to get more money out of it, you know, you need to bring in an expert to help you, you know, get those numbers up so you can justify a higher price. But, you know, those financial statements are going to tell you the story. OK, you know, and I, and I recognize, you know, for you guys that are looking to sell, this could be, you know, this is where you started your business, could have been your first business. You've got a lifetime of memories. You know, you've got friends in there um, and it's easy to get fixated on, you know, uh, and ask, asking price is too high, and we start getting fixated on the potential of this. But again, no investor is going to buy based on potential. They're not going to give you money based on that, and they're not going to do it based on your blood, sweat, and tears. Okay, they're going to do it based on cash flow. And if your gym is priced incorrectly, that thing could sit on the market for months, for years, and indeed, it could never sell. And so what you want to do, you know, if you're dealing with a consultant, a business broker, you know, make sure it's priced right from the very beginning. Now, feel free to give us a call, 800-929-2898. Uh, you can email me direct if you like, jthomas at fmconsulting.net. Also, be sure to hit the subscribe button below. Uh, this will give you, you know, up-to-date information as new information is posted you know, on being able to sell a gym or buy a gym or even get one uh, fixed if that need uh, be the case for you. My name is Jim Thomas, and this has been the Fitness Management Update.